Welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor. I'm Chad Kettner. We are going to be talking about some simple upgrades that you can do to your air guns to get ready for competition season or just to get a little bit more of accuracy and enjoyment out of the product at hand. The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by Air Guns of Arizona and High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop. You'll find links to these and more in the description down below. Today we're going to be looking at the BRK Ghost. Now most of these upgrades are not model specific. So a lot of these can be done to any air gun, not just the BRK Ghost. We will have a couple of model specific upgrades at the end that are going to be just for the Ghost. And I think you're going to really, really like and appreciate exactly what they are. So where do we start though? So the very first thing that a lot of people want to do is they want to get more shots. When they're at competition, they need more shots because they don't want to waste time filling air. So how do we do that? I got your solution. How do we do that? It's with a new bottle. This is a 700 cc bottle. You can pick these up at Air Guns of Arizona or my high pressure pneumatics up in Michigan. Uh, easy to install. Now I did, and you will, no matter, regardless of your uh, air gun, you will need to pick up a valve for that. But the valve, they just go right on here. There's an O-ring on there. I don't know if you can see that. And they just slip that in there. And we're going to just slide that. Now it's important because if you're going to a competition and you're going to fly, you do have to be able to take the valve out of the air cylinder to fly with it. Now, a lot of people don't realize that and they get to the airport that they don't have the tools to do so, uh, but you do definitely need to be able to take that out. I was heading out to Utah and that was the first thing that the TSA checked was empty out your bottle and make sure the valve is already out. So you do that at home, but make sure you do that nice and easy. Now all we have to do is go ahead and swap out the old bottle and I'm going to do that anyway. Go ahead and you'll hear a little puff of air. Let's see. There it is, the air released. And the nice thing about this upgrade is that you have a extra air cylinder now. Let's say you wanna go take this out on a trip, uh, maybe out to the country and you wanna bring an extra air cylinder with you. This one has the valve in it. So all you have to do is put it in your backpack, make sure it's full before you go and swap it out. So we're going to go ahead and put the 700 cc air cylinder on here. And this is going to significantly up my shot count. So there's easy upgrade number one. How about number two? Well, number two is kind of a tuning preference type of thing. And you know, we have these gauges on, on air guns, and these are, you know, they're not digital. They're just, I guess you could say, uh, you know, they're like a mechanical spring gauge, and they're accurate, don't get me wrong, but they're not as accurate as you might like, especially if you have to disassemble or want to make sure things are going. A nice digital gauge is going to do wonders for you, and I've got just the answer here. Hold on. Upgrade number two segment gauges these can be ordered online there's two different versions of them so you'll want to make sure that you get the correct one that's going to fit your air gun both in size as well as the thread being used so these are most important and i got two gauges here segment was kind enough to send these to me so i do appreciate that little sponsor on the video here um, I'm going to replace the regulator gauge as well as the fill pressure gauge. Now, if I had to pick one, it would be the regulator gauge because that is the one aspect of this air gun that you want to make sure that you can control and make sure that you know your regulator is not failing and you don't have like any regulator creep or anything along those lines. And a digital gauge is going to be accurate enough for that to happen. Now, couple of little things you're probably wondering, what about water resistance or electronic, their battery? So I've had digital gauges. Matter of fact, I had one on my original Leshy that I had, and I was not a fan. I swapped it out for one of these gauges, but these have come a long way. Uh, they are waterproof, or I should say, they say resistant, water and dust resistant. 
They have tons of functionality. So the old gauges used to just tell you the pressure. This one has a lot more to it, and I'll go into that on another video. But it also can have 300 day standby time and it's a rechargeable battery. Very similar to like your iPhone or your Android phone. It comes with a little magnetic clip that you just charge it and it's super easy to do. And of course, it has a maximum working pressure of 300 bars. So awesome, awesome little tool. Let's go ahead and swap out the two gauges and then we'll keep going. All right, so we got our second upgrade. I'll tell you what, these gauges are gonna come in really, really handy when I go to adjust the regulator and get this thing all tuned for competition season. Not gonna do that right now, but we got a couple more upgrades to go. So what else do we have? Let's see. You know what? One of the things that I've struggled with when traveling with my air gun is the fact that a bipod is necessary, first and foremost, if you're gonna be shooting any bench rest. But second of all, it is an awkward item to carry on your luggage, whether you put it in your backpack or in a carry-on or wherever it might go. It's an awkward item. And, well, I've upgraded there too, just for travel purposes. And that is the new Scandinavian Arms Bipod. First and foremost, it comes in this great carrying case. It all fits right in here. Go ahead and unzip this so you can... There it is. So not only is this thing conveniently in a carry case, but this thing also fits both on a pick rail as well as an Arca rail by, just by flipping this over. So you get a lot of different options here. Really unique design. You can see that. That's how we're going to get it on there and twist it on and adjust it. The legs, and it comes with extensions on the legs. I've never used the extensions. I haven't need them. I like to keep the low profile, but look at this. These legs install real easily. Nice and simple. There's one. Here's the other. There's right in that hole. Perfect fit. And these are, so these are adjustable by hand, but they're tension filled. So you can adjust the tension by adjusting how much pressure you want to tighten this down with on that Allen wrench in there. So you can really crank them down so they don't move, or you can loosen them up, like this one here probably. Ah, this one's cranked down too. But you can loosen them up so they can really, really flex. Um, so you have your choice there, depending upon what your needs are. But it is a really neat system. And if you get the tension just right, you can just leave it. There you go and just enough force so you can leave it on your air gun and adjust it simply when it's on there. So let's go ahead and put this new bipod on here. A couple different feet options. Beautiful. We've got some different options. Adjust the legs. Notice it's not really sliding anywhere even with some pressure on there. So a great little setup for accessory number three. Now what else do I want to do to get this thing rolling for competition? Well I have Another option, one of the things that you notice a lot of competition shooters using is weights. And I got this adjustable weight system by RAW. You can order these online through RAW's website, and you can take the weights off, whoop, just like that. You take them off, adjust the amount of weight that you want. This is a little bit of a dampener to help reduce any vibration. And the one thing that I really like about it is it has the wings on the side. So if you take this and you, let's say your air gun wants to tilt over it a little bit. Well, that extra weight, if you look, I'm going to tilt it and it just brings it right back to center. Whether you go whichever direction you want to go, it brings it right back to center. And that is going to help you with stability down there at the range whenever you are shooting bench rest or any discipline for that matter. Having a little weight down there is a good thing. Now, I'm going to adjust this. Uh oh, I'm going to have to put my bipod up. I might have to do some adjusting here after the video is all said and done uh, just to get everything just right. 
But I got a little pick rail down here. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring those legs up for now. I'll adjust this a little bit further once I get done. There we go. So now we got a whole bunch of weight to help with stability. We've got these new bipods. Uh, oh, that looks nice. There we go. So once it's installed, it fits really, really well up there. I, I might not even have to adjust anything. I like that. So we've got the weight. We've got the new air cylinder. We've got the new bipod. We've got the new gauges for tuning. That's what? One, two, three, four upgrades. Man, I got some more. You know what it is? BRK, Brocock International has come out with a couple other upgrades that are specific to this air gun. So I'm going to go ahead and clear off this stuff and then I'll come right back with those upgrades. Well, those first upgrades are pretty much any gun anywhere. You can add those upgrades to yourself. Pretty easy to do. Now, these last two uh, upgrades are specific to the BRK Ghost, and I well, as well as you can get the similar upgrade for the Alpha Wolf as well. But this one's for the Ghost, and the first one I'm going to talk about is a barrel tensioner. So what this does is this replaces the original shroud that's on there. So you're going to notice my profile is going to go down a little bit. And that what that does is puts tension on the barrel. So a barrel is going to move like this in waves. And this is meant to help kind of stretch and keep the tension on the barrel so it has less opportunity to do that up and down movement out here at the end of the barrel. So we're going to add the barrel tensioner on here as well as this block. Now this block, you're probably noticing the wires on top. This block is also used on the Alpha Wolf or the Delta Wolf. I ordered one for that just because I have one. And so if I wanted to swap this block over to my Alpha Wolf, I already had the electronics built in. But you can order the Alpha Wolf version and still use it on your Ghost, even though those electronics are in there. So kind of a nice cost saving measure if you're ordering to order this block to kind of settle things down. And this is a barrel clamp down here on the bottom. So you're going to notice it's going to replace this and again clamp down onto that barrel to again help to reduce any kind of waves or shock waves that are going to go throughout the system and settle that barrel down because it's producing quite a bit of power down there and the barrel is a little bit longer. So two really simple upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and swap this stuff out and see exactly what kind of impact this has. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you how to do that. We won't get to shooting today, but we'll get it all swapped out for you so you can kind of get a quick idea of what it is, how easy these upgrades are. And of course these upgrades, anyone that carries uh, BRK, Daystate products can get these for you, as well as Air Guns of Arizona and my high pressure pneumatics up in Michigan. My two go-to guys, for anything BRK and Daystate. Those guys are killing it and very, very, very helpful, let me tell you. And a sponsor of the show, let's be honest. But I wouldn't let them be a sponsor if I didn't like working with them. Drops right out. Notice when this one does not have the clamp on the bottom, whereas this one does have that clamp on the bottom. So that's going to be a nice little accessory when we go to uh, get everything tuned in for competition. Well, Air Gunners, there we have it. BRK Ghost. I did go ahead and add a zero dB moderator on as well, which you guys can do to most of your air guns back home. Now, the one thing I might change on this build at some point, I might switch out either to a 500cc tank or swap out to the larger, longer barrel that BRK has just come out with. Couldn't get my hands on it just yet, but that's another option further down the line. Can't wait to get this back down the range, get it all tuned in. We'll be checking out these gauges and how exactly they work and how they can help you to fine tune your air gun. Want to shout out to all my sponsors. Thank you for your support. Hit the subscribe button. And until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth and those pellets fly straight. And we'll see you right here 
on the Airgun Advisor.